Hi, everyone, and welcome to Sunday's live stream. I know I'm a little late. I was actually, um, I was still having issues with panic attacks, but uh, I was trying out these new uh, magnetic eyelashes from Doe. So Doe eyelashes are supposedly like for Asian eyes. And so I thought maybe they would work better, but they don't really work that much better. So what happens is when you're Asian, if you are like 100% Asian, you don't have a crease. And so you have a monolid. And so because I have that, that's why they just look so weird. My eyelashes don't, I like, I don't have a crease to like help bring the eyelashes up. So they just look kind of weird. So I'll continue to work on trying to fix that. Maybe I just need to take an eyelash curler to them. However, I'm actually super impressed that they stay on uh, because I've never used, I think that happens to everybody the first time they use magnetic eyelashes. They're like, wow, they actually stayed on. So it's 10 o'clock or it's 1030 here. So I put these on at 10 and we'll see how long they stay on. <laughs> All right. So you did not come here to talk about eyelashes. We came here to talk about the monthly planners. So all of the monthly planners are done for Canva, including the digital planners. I will also re-record yesterday's videos because I realized that I did not create parent pages for each of those InDesign files. So I will, I've gone back and I've done that. And that's for the Adobe InDesign version. Um, but let me go ahead and share my screen with you so we can take a look at the monthly planners. So you'll see a weird picture and picture thing. Let me move myself to the side. All right. So inside of here, so just log into Thrivecart, which again, doesn't matter if you signed up for InDesign 101 or for any of your planners or planner pixies, it doesn't matter. All roads lead to Rome. So all of them will take you to the student dashboard where you can see literally everything that you are enrolled in. Um, so there are obviously tons and tons of planners and templates in here. So let's just work. I just do a control F um, to look for the word month. There we go. So let's let's just start with the digital planner one first. So over here, and remember, don't panic. I always do this inside of Thrivecart. I don't know why. Over to the left, there is a section called Canva file. So over here where it says Canva file, step number two, this is your monthly digital planner. It will bring up the Canva link that you're all used to. Um, and we're going to go ahead and say use template. And inside of here, this is the hot, I don't want to say hot pink. It's like the fuchsia uh, planner that is inside of here. So you can change these buttons. You can change the text. You can change what fonts. Now, Texta is a premium font that I uploaded onto um, Canva. So it's not normally available. Um, and this is a size 17. And of course, you can change the color uh, over here or you can change it to be blue. You could even change this button. If you're like, I'm not really feeling fuchsia, you could change the button to be like a dark blue. Do you want it to be a dark blue or do we want it to be a light blue? Whoops, let me grab that shape again. Um, you can change it to maybe a light blue to go with the dark blue. Yeah, there. So you can change these. Just keep in mind, and there's only 12 pages. Uh, you'll have to change it on all 12 pages. There are no parent pages in Canvas. And as you can see, this is the free version of Canva. I don't have Canva Pro on this account. Um, and remember, if you add anything in here, this coil right here in the center, uh, you want to make sure it always stays on the top um, versus going behind. So you can... Um, I think you can just unlock that. There we go. Um, and you can go ahead. So if you send it backwards, you can see it doesn't look as like super fake, faux, uh, fancy planner-ish. So you're going to have to bring it to the front. Um, just something to keep in mind, because once you start adding elements inside of here, sometimes you forget. I don't even know what elements you would want to add. Maybe you would want to add, yesterday we added a starburst. Maybe for April, you want to add flowers as flowers are kind of like April-ish. So maybe you wanna add some decorations over here. Um, maybe another flower. Okay, that's like a super flower wreathy thing. Um, but you know, anything you add, just make sure it sits underneath your coil so that it can still look um, like it is a planner. Um, all right, so when you are ready and you've made all the changes that you want to make on this planner, then you're gonna go over here to share and you are going to download it and just leave the size as is. You're gonna do PDF standard for all digital planners inside of Canva. So just make sure you don't choose PDF print. Um, 
Again, I don't know if flatten makes a big deal. I don't think these are that large. And again, flatten, it says, is for printing. So I wouldn't really worry about it since this is intended to be used on an iPad or on a tablet. Um, and you're just going to go ahead and download it. And you're going to wait. And then something miraculous will happen. Let's open up Adobe Acrobat. Do I have it open already? Nope, it's opening. All right, so over here in my downloads, we're going to open up this planner and then we're going to make sure that, whoops, the tabs work. So you're um, just going to click, this will jump you to October, this will jump you to February, this will jump you to May, this will jump you back to January, this will jump you to December, and this will bring you back to home to the cover. Now, inside of Canva, the reason that that works is because we have, let's get rid of that, uh, we have put links inside of here. So over here where it says October, you can see that this little link thing is highlighted. When I click off of there and I click something else, it's not highlighted, which means there is no link. So when I click this and I go to the link, it tells me when that particular text is clicked on, it's going to take you to page 11, which is also known as section 10.1. So that's October. So if we head up here, this is page 11, section 10.1, which is where it's supposed to go. Um, and again, if you add extra pages in here, just make sure that your links stay intact um, and that they don't go anywhere. Like if you want to add weeklies in between the monthlies, which is the whole point of the mix and match templates, you could do that and then just make sure that your links still go to the right page. All right, that is your digital planner for the monthly. And then let's go ahead and go back and look at the five different monthly templates that you have. So we are going to go to the word month. That was the digital. Let's go to the next one. Here we go. Um, this is your monthly planner. All right, so Again, like I said, don't freak out. Your Canva files are over here in the Canva section. Um, all right, so here you're gonna see five different links for the five different planners. So the first three are all exactly the same. The only difference is the colors. So if we head over here, we can see that this is the Fuchsia Planner. Um, and this is 2023. And it looks just like that monthly digital planner we just looked at. Um, and then if we head over here and we go to the gold one, you're going to see that this, like I said, is exactly the same as that first one, except it is in gold. Um, and then if we head over here to the fuchsia, we're going to see, did it say fuchsia? That should say violet. It's a typo. Uh, but here's the violet one. And the violet one looks exactly the same, except it's in violet or purple or lavender, whatever you want to call it. Then we go to the rose gold and the rose gold, if we say use template, and this is different from the monthly inside the rose gold collection. Um, so now we have a two page spread with a rose gold color and that other color I used to have for my branding, which is kind of like a, it's brown, but I think I called it something like a charcoal gray. <laughs> it's like gray and brown are very close. Like once you get into that, um, the color wheel. Uh, anyways, so this is a two page spread. Again, it just looks a little weird because usually in Adobe InDesign, you can make everything a two page spread. This is just a single page spread view inside of Canva. And then the last one is the monthly desk pad. Now keep in mind the monthly desk pad was meant to be like sitting on your desk. And so this one is 14 inches wide by eight and a half inches tall, because that is the size of legal paper, at least here in the US. So in theory, you could, you know, if you had a printer that could do a manual feed, which most of them can, you can feed in eight and a half by 14 and then just have it in your desk. Um, so let's take a look at this. And this one matches the other one. It's like a rose gold pattern. Um, so you have a nice little border around here that you can, again, you could change. Uh, let's just hit the unlock key. Um, so I could get rid of that border completely and replace it with something else. Uh, and then same thing, I could change these colors to match whatever cool new kind of border I put in the back. Um, and then we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. There's, again, on the dated planners, there's not too much to change except the text uh, colors and the numbers. Or obviously, if you are uh, 
putting this in a different language, right? You would put different uh, words for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, but otherwise, you know, the days of the week are the days of the week. And that's usually why most planners cannot be uh, like copyrighted because you didn't invent the calendar. Um, it just is what it is. So these are, each month is on its own spread. And then you have a section for notes over here on the right. And that is your whole planner. So that's a wrap for all of the Mondays. Um, does anyone have any questions? Probably not. Also, I did not tell anyone that I was going live today because, like I said, having issues this week. With, like we have another open house today from noon to what, three. So hopefully I survive it. Anyways, um, I will see you guys tomorrow. So tomorrow at noon, we have the print on demand challenge, which is the first day of Planner Academy. So very excited about that. And also, I think what we're going to do is we're going to run uh, Planner 101 again. I've decided to change it. I know yet again. So the first time I did design and then the next time I was like, we're going to run a business focused Planner 101. And now I've come full circle to say, you know what? It probably makes more sense to do a design one. I think that is like everyone's number one concern is how to design the planners. And we're just jumping right into business. So we're going to go back again. We're going to run Planner 101. I know. I like to just keep trying until I get it right. So we're going to run Planner 101 again in October um, with more of a design focus. So hopefully third time's a charm and we'll get it right and everyone will be excited and it'll get you all the information that you need. All right. I will stop talking and giving updates and I will talk to everyone tomorrow again at noon. So if you think of something you want to ask, uh, check back then. Aw, thanks, Unique. <laughs> Great information. All right. Bye.